Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it really does mean a lot, thank you. This is New Meeting House in Church Street in Kidderminster. This church dates to 1782. After St Mary's Church, this is the oldest church in Kidderminster. I think it's a community asset, this is an incredible building, truly stunning architecture. And it's empty now, it's not being used at all. There's a sign out front that says that it's been sold. And I hope that it's repurposed to serve the community because that was the original spirit with which it was created. Personally, I've got a long history with this place. I've performed here, and here's a little clip of that. There's literally history at every turn, every little nook and cranny, you can see little bits of history. This church has got connections all the way back to the Civil War and Minister Richard Baxter, who was um, a minister in Kidderminster. His Jacobean pulpit is still inside the church, it was still used by the congregation when it was open. When I was a kid growing up in the late 80s and early 90s, my dad worked at Gilt Edge Carpets in order to top his money up because there was four of us. He used to do the gardening here and I used to come on a regular basis and help him. Uh, I think he used to get a fiver for probably two or three hours work and I think I got 50p or a Mars bar if I was lucky. Um, but yeah, I've got many, many fond memories of helping my dad here to, to keep on top of the garden. And now to see it when it's in such a state, it's all overgrown and yeah, it's quite sad. The building to my left here was used by two local amateur dramatics groups, Kidderminster Operatic and Dramatic Society and Carpet Trades Musical Theatre Company. I've done a couple of shows with the latter and uh, here's a clip of them rehearsing in this building to my left. If you haven't seen their shows, honestly, you need to go and check them out. One of the nicest bunch of people I've ever met. Um, so enthusiastic and just full of the joys of um, performing and being part of something bigger than themselves. Fantastic people. Highly recommended. When I was walking around, I found this sign. It was completely discarded, covered in rotting leaves and just left. Obviously, at one time, it was at the front of the building. When my dad and I were doing the garden one day... We found a bag of clearly stolen goods at the back of the uh, bushes. They must have been stolen from one of the local sports shops, maybe Civita Sports or something like that. Can't remember the other one that was in the Swan Centre. But yeah, there was a couple of Sergio Tashini t-shirts which were quite popular with the tennis players at the time. I think there was a couple of zip-up cardigans. I think my dad had the t-shirts eventually and uh, my granddad had the cardigans. But my dad did take them to the police initially. Obviously after a certain amount of time it had elapsed, they um, called him up and he went in and collected them and they let him keep them. That's the end of my tour of New Meeting Hall, Grade 2 listed building on Church Street in Kidderminster. Let's hope that whoever's bought this building can give it a new purpose and a new lease of life going forward and it can be used for the benefit of the community. Here's hoping, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be doing a bit more of an in-depth look at Richard Baxter in due course. I'm going to be doing various pieces on a number of local figures, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and... Uh, I'll oh, see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.